Hey, are we ready, friends, for some devotion on this Wednesday, uh, the 20th of March? As we continue to share our journey in life and faith together, we're invited to the little book of Haggai, one of the minor prophets. Um, so I'll invite you to take a few seconds and find your way there. If you're not there yet, if you want to read along, then we'll share devotion from our partners in ministry in Christ at our home at Augsburg Fortress. We're going to read verses 1 through 9 of chapter 2, only two chapters in this small book, and then we'll jump over to uh, 20 to 23. So, hope you found your way to Haggai. Join me if you'd like. In the second year of King Darius, in the seventh month of, on the 21st day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, son of Shalatiel, governor of Judah, and to jo Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Is it not in your sight as nothing? Yet now take courage, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Take courage, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, Ahaziah. Take courage, all you people of the land. Say, says the Lord, for, oh, uh, wait, here we go. Take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the promise that I made you when you came out of Egypt. My spirit abides among you. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once again, in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all the nations, so that the treasure of all nations shall come. And I will find this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendor of this house shall be, the, be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. And then we jump to the end of the book here. The word of the Lord came a second time to Haggai. On the twenty-fourth day of the month, speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I am about to shake the heavens and the earth, and to overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I am about to destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the nations, and overthrow the chariots and their riders, and the horses and their riders shall fall, every one, by the sword of a comrade. On that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, son of Shetiel, says the Lord, and make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you, says the Lord of hosts. We promise to count on, is the title of our devotion from Christ in our home, if you want to continue there reading together this morning, dwelling here richly in God's word. It's, uh, it focuses our verse to the fourth and fifth, or our, our, it focuses us to verses four and five that we read there. I am with you according to the promise that I made you. My spirit abides among you. Do not fear. God's people had returned to their homeland from exile in Babylon. But with no temple and no leadership, how would they worship? How would order be established? The prophet Haggai foresaw a new community identical to the old, a restored temple, prosperity in the land, and a ruler from the line of David. But scholars tell us that different systems and new forms of worship had already taken hold. The old would never fully be restored. We church folks know a little about exile and its damage. At the beginning of the pandemic, our church buildings were closed. Those who wanted to worship had to tune in from home. Even as congregations resumed gathering in person, fewer attended in person. Moving forward, churches may never fully rebound. But God made a promise we can count on. Haggai spoke it to Judah's ruler and people. My spirit abides among you. Do not fear. No matter how full or empty our pews, the Holy Spirit will never leave us. <clears throat> that promise stands firmer than the church itself. Pray together, won't you? Faithful God, teach us to trust your promise, never to leave us. Amen. Be invited uh, to continue in prayer this day as we learn and grow together in life and faith. And be invited to pray for rural, rural, fun word, rural churches striving to grow. And God be with you. As you bear God's love in your life today.